Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. I have a KNX project with four villas. My KNX topology consists of one area with four KNX lines. So each villa is assigned in one KNX line. All villas have the same KNX devices, the same lights, the same switches, etc. So, all I have to do is to create the KNX project for one villa and then repeat it three more times. A sip of coffee and I will explain you everything in ETS6. Let's start. I have already created the KNX project for Villa 1. Now for Villa 2, I will have first to create one new KNX line from topology. I will name it Villa 2 line. And of course, I will set this line as the current line. Since all villas have the same KNX devices, switches, rooms, etc., the next step is to copy all the building parts of Villa 1 with floors, rooms, electrical cabinets, KNX devices and switches and paste it under my Villa's demo building. As you can see, Villa 1 copy has been created. I will rename it to Villa 2. In the electrical cabinets, I have added a small description in the DIN rail devices. I use these descriptions in order to print labels for all DIN rail devices. In my opinion, it's a good practice. For more details about my label manager, please watch my step-by-step -step tutorial. You will find the link in the description. So here, V1 stands for Villa 1, and I have to change it in V2, which stands for Villa 2. To change it quickly, I will use Find and Replace. I will search for V1 and replace it with V2. Next step is to copy all group addresses from Villa 1. I will rename the main group from Villa 1 to Villa 2. The middle groups are OK, but I have to rename all the group addresses. I will use again Find and Replace. I will do that for every middle group. The last step is to link the group objects from every KNX device with the correct group addresses. So, I will open two building workplaces. In the upper one, I will open a KNX device from Villa 1. And in the lower one, I will open the same KNX device from Villa 2. For example, for this switching group object, the linked group address is 0 to 4. Since the structure is the same in Villa 1 and 2, the only thing that is changed is the main group. Instead of 0, it's 1. So, I will link the object with the group address 1 to 4. I will do the same for the rest of group objects.
Of course, I haven't finished yet. I will have to do that for all KNX devices and then repeat everything for the other two villas. Probably I will need all day. The good thing is that there is a much faster way. Visit my.knx.org and sign in with your account. Click on Shop and DTS Apps. Search for Extended Copy. Extended Copy is an ETS app that is used to create similar structures in a project. It is available for ETS 5 and ETS 6. In my opinion, it's very useful. Let me show you how it works. Copy Villa 1 building part. But instead of paste it, select the Paste Extended option. The Extended Copy dialog window now opens, asking for additional information. Villa 1 and 2 belong to the same area, so I will select to keep the area. I have to create a new line for Villa 2, so I will select Create. The method to create the address it will be Fill Up, so it will use the first free available. I would like also to rename the Villa 1 line to Villa 2 line. So, in a renaming name, I will select Replace Text from Villa 1 to Villa 2. I don't have segments, so I will leave it like this. For the individual addresses of the KNX devices, I will select Fill Up method, so as to use the first free available. And as renaming description, I will select Replace Text from V1 to V2. Associations are the links between group objects and group addresses. I will select Create in order to create new links. I want to create a new main group using Fill Up method and replace text from Villa 1 to Villa 2. Create also middle groups and group addresses with renaming method replace text from V1 to V2. I would like also to create the building parts and replace text from Villa 1 to Villa 2. I don't have functions or trade, so I will select Lose. The cool thing is that by clicking the preview button, you can check all the changes. I'm done, so I will click OK. As you can see, here is Villa 2 with all building parts. The new line for Villa 2 has been created. The devices are renamed. The group addresses have been generated with the correct names. And the most important thing, all the group objects are linked with the correct group addresses. That's amazing. I will repeat the same procedure for Villa 3 and 4. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next episode. If you like our tutorials, support our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Like and share our videos.
and if our tutorials help you to grow your business, become a true member of Poseidon Tech by clicking the Join button. If you want to learn more about our services, visit our website.